Welcome back to MC22 as we have another edition of the Cougar Insider Show. My name is Cosmo, play-by-play -play voice of Cougar Athletics as we turn our attention to the golf course. And Coach John Utley, the head man for both the CC women and CC men golf teams. Coach, good, good morning. Good morning, afternoon, good afternoon, evening, afternoon. whatever it is. The weather's been uh, very nice for golf as of the last several weeks at least. It has been nice. It's uh, We went through a dry spell and we've had a little rain, but all, overall the temperatures have been great. And the, golf. the one aspect of golf that you really have no control over is exactly. the, uh, the weather, <laughs> is, mother nature. As many uh, variables that come along with the game of golf, but uh, we'll just jump right into things uh, with your men's team. Uh, you, you guys competitive both sides, both men and women both play. You have a spring season, you have a fall season, and uh, the fall season was very good to your gentlemen. They come right out of the gate and uh, first place, back-to-back uh, -back first place finishes. Talk about those uh, victories and those well, tournaments. Well, it's this year we have probably the, the, the deepest team we've had. Uh, obviously the results speak for themselves and uh, lots of competition to see who gets to qualify to go. In college golf we, we play five players and count the four low scores each round. So we've got eight, nine kids competing for those five spots and uh, you know, the first two wins, we did that with two different rosters. We had we, we had qualifying between tournaments and uh, had a little, little bit of change in the rosters, but we won both times and, uh, you know, had comp contributions from our experienced players, and then we had uh, contributions from newcomers. So yeah. that was exciting. So I think a lot of people, do you have your own competition leading up to those tournaments, and with nine guys or eight or nine guys, yeah, there's... There's a whole bunch of guys that don't get to go to the tournaments. And unfortunately, you can't take them all. Right. So that that has certainly makes it a lot more uh, competitive on that aspect. And it's probably shown Trevor Cronin comes out and, and wins the very first tournament up in uh, in Illinois and then is reward, re rewarded for that with the uh, AMC Golfer of the Week honors for that. Talk about what he has meant to your golf team this well, year. Well, Tre Trevor's a senior, so he brings in that stability and experience and uh, – work ethic and he's, he's worked hard on his game. It, it's gotten better every year and um, that tournament, you know, you just, if you watched him go around the course, it's just like a senior should. Mm -hmm. he, he had a piece in the calm and he sat next to me in the van going and coming and after the round coming, coming back, he, he showed me his golf ball that he'd played all day that second round and, and it had TDM written on it. And it didn't dawn on me what. And I said, what's that mean? He said, this doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, and, and in golf, that's, it's, you, you put so uh, much pressure on yourself and trying to make it go here or there that you forget to just pr relax and execute. And, and there, there's things in golf that are definitely not in your control. And it was just he had a calm about him and the results showed, showed that. See, for me, in one round, I carry a case of golf balls. <laughs> I'd be there all day writing TDM on every <laughs> single one, but for him to have that one golf ball, uh, pretty amazing. As you said, a senior leader. And then on the on the flip, you had one of your younger players, Noah uh, Wilson, who was a freshman, uh, finished second in that same tournament. Yeah, Noah came in and won the qualifying to get to go and then was tied for the lead after round one. And then Trevor played good the second day and caught him and passed him, but okay. Noah ended up tied for second that tournament and um, you know was what we like to see with our new, new players coming in and that you know you, you may not always expect freshmen to, to make a that big of impact but he did yeah, and, huh? um, and we haven't started talking about the second tournament yet but he, <laughs> he carried over and, and had a great second round in the second tournament which, which uh, helped us win there as well. Well, I know he had uh, quite a high school career in Palmyra, and mm -hmm. I remember when uh, you guys signed him here to, to play at Columbia College that that uh, he was one of those kids coming in that was going to be kind of maybe the next Trevor Cronin as far as a, a, a kid that's uh, definitely a leader uh, with his teammates, uh, both in the classroom and on the golf course, and he's really shown it in the first uh, the four tournaments that you guys played already. Yeah, the thing I like about Noah is, is he just he plays the game. You know, he's not... You know, if you look at him, it, everything is not spot on technically the way you might teach it, but that's, but having watched him since he was a freshman or sophomore in high school at districts and sectionals and different tournaments, he plays the game. And that's, there, there's an element of the game that's technical, but there's something else to it besides that. And, and that's what he brings and what I like. 
You guys, uh, the first place at Olivet Nazarene, then a first place at Evangel on their fall invite down in, mm -hmm. in Springfield, and then you had your own tournament here, the Cougar Classic. You uh, took a second place finish that. Talk about how, I know a lot of the players, both sides, take a lot of pride in being able to host that event, as do yeah. you, obviously, as the coach. And CCC is a great venue with the the new look to the course over the last three, four years. Talk about that big uh, tournament. Well, that, it was. We, we had a good field, and uh, our golf course, I would say it plays as one of the more difficult courses for us. Just uh, it's tight, you know. The holes are good. The greens are perfect. In fact, uh, Joe Herzog, our superintendent, had the greens rolling just under 12. Which, those of you that know, the it's kind of like if you you hold this little trough off and roll the ball down, how far it will roll out on the green. And he had them rolling just under 12 feet. Wow. And that's pretty darn quick. And uh, that turn, that loss, that second place is, you know, appreciate getting second, but it's stunned <laughs> because we were playing well and with about seven or eight holes to go, we were in the lead yeah. and stumbled down, down the end. But, you know, my guys were working hard and they tried hard and, uh, you know, still, still, you know, the numbers they threw up at that tournament, you know, three or four years ago, I'd have been happy with. You know, it's <laughs> nice that now, you know, not that I'm disappointed, but, uh, you know, if that's our bad rounds, then we're going the right direction. Well, it certainly showed how far the program has come, both sides, uh, yeah. as far as the, the improvement level uh, on that. And of course, you always want to win your every tournament you're in, but especially your home tournament. Yeah. And, and We, we uh, haven't won that one yet. Yeah. We, we came close, and, and we'll get there. <laughs> well, it's a, an extra motivator for the next time around. And, and then uh, William Woods, who's been kind of the, the, the poster child for winning in the AMC over the years. Uh, before you guys have come into the, into the league, they, they had their invite out at Tanglewood. Yeah. And uh, I know the weather was not great that weekend, if I recall correctly. The, was that a windy, rainy well, kind the, of weekend, or what the, was that? You know, and that's kind of the what I'm not mentioning. We we did beat William Woods at our home tournament, right? But unfortunately, Hannibal Glorange snuck around both of us. We <laughs> we finished second in front of Woods, but yeah. uh, the week prior to the William Woods tournament, there had been weather and rain, and it rained a lot more over there than it did here. Right. And we went and played the practice round Sunday and there was water standing. And then uh, I saw Coach Doty during the day and he said, hey, I'm thinking about we're gonna play 36 on Monday instead of playing 18 Monday, 18 Tuesday because more rain was predicted Tuesday. And so we played 36 holes wow. that day at, at Woods and which was the right call because we did get weather the next day. And, and there was some wind blowing, but overall it was a good day for fall golf. And our kids played great. We, we shot two over 290 in the morning round uh, and were five back. They shot three under. But then our guys set a new school record and shot 10 under in the afternoon. Wow. Uh, we shot 278. And, you know, I was chewing my fingernails coming down the end because we had, we had numbers that were turned in and I knew what our fifth player, Tanner Elder, had shot. Mm -hmm but I didn't know what his William Woods player had shot. And with what they already had posted on the board, if he shot 74, we'd tie. If he shot 75, we'd win. Right. He shot 73, we oh. lost by a shot. Why but, one stroke? But our guys, I mean, Damon Dolan shot 67. Uh, we had two guys shoot 70, and then, uh, which were Trevor and Noah, or no, Cole and Trevor, right. and um, and Cole Perkins uh, actually finished second in the tournament. He shot 69-70, shot five under total. Uh, and then Tanner Elder shot one under that afternoon to complete the 10 under, but it was a great day. Different mindset, obviously with, with the 36 in one day, you split it with a break in the middle. That's a, a well, completely different mindset <coughs> compared to doing 18 one day, 18 the next day. Right, yeah, it just, it was continuous golf. We, we uh, my assistant Michelle Butler, she and I went to Walmart on Sunday <laughs> evening and she made turkey sandwiches and and ham sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly and and it was a marathon day. We had about a 30 minute delay for fog and, and was worried about getting 36 holes in when right. you've got all those teams out there. But, um, you know, like we told the kids, that's why we work out in the mornings, you know, to, to be challenged and, and be ready to, to go out of the gate and, and have the strength that on a 36 hole day that, you know, they were on the golf course 10 and a half, 11 hours. Uh, to be strong down the finish, and, and we proved that by, by playing better in the afternoon.
And came a stroke away from uh, winning your Almost. third tournament. He's so close to, to sweeping all four, really. Another golfer you mentioned, uh, Damon Dollins, a mid-Missouri kid with mm -hmm. Centralia Ties. He also received an AMC uh, Golf of the Week honor. Yeah, he, uh, won, he won at Evangel when we won. He was the individual champion there and played, played nicely. So let's talk. Uh, you guys play the four events there in the spring. Now mm -hmm. you have a fall. Uh, wait, fall. You'll play four. How many in the spring? You know, I, I'm this this week and next week. I'm kind of looking at making that schedule. And, gotcha. and usually we will play four tournaments, and then a fifth tournament being the conference title uh -huh. or tournament. So uh, right now that'll probably be the plan, just for the way that works with missing classes and and budget and. Uh, more than likely we'll play five events in the spring. Gotcha. Uh, who's a golfer that surprised you a little bit uh, on the men's side that you knew was going to be a solid uh, golfer well, would, for you? But You know, I would say N Noah came in and, you know, was a nice surprise. But Cole Perkins has, has played as solidly um, and especially the last couple events as anybody. And, and that was just due to his hard work the last two years. He's a junior. Um, He's worked hard, and um, you know, like I said, he he quietly shot five under <laughs> that second round or that second last tournament, right. and uh, w was proud of what he did. You know, Damon and Trevor have uh, been right there, first, second, uh, the last two three years, and and for Cole to step up now, um, and theoretically we've got three guys that, you know have a chance to win anytime we tee it up, uh, that's good. Absolutely, very good. Uh, two firsts and two seconds for the guys and uh, a couple of AMC Player of the Week honors, tournament winners for the men's side. Uh, the ladies' side also had some good finishes on their uh, mm -hmm. fall schedule. We'll come back and talk about the ladies, the golf team, as we talk with John Utley, the head golf coach for both programs here at Columbia College, Cougar Insider. Take our first break here on MC22. I wasn't going to stop until we got it resolved. I want to recognize one of your employees for her great service. Gina made some changes to her email setup and was having some issues accessing her messages. My email structure is fairly complex. Kristen had her whole team on it and kept me informed every step of the way. We had to try a lot of different solutions, but I wasn't going to stop until we got it resolved. Somehow Kristen fixed the unfixable. I'm Kristen, and I'm your local internet expert. In every community, young people are proving their abilities to lead through accomplishment in the classroom and beyond. At Mediacom, we're proud to recognize these outstanding individuals by awarding world-class scholarships. By investing in these young leaders and their educations, we believe that we're creating a more promising future for everyone. Congratulations to each and every winner. Mediacom, powering the future. With TiVo, you can record shows to watch later, of course. But you can also access popular video apps right on your TV. And you can watch your recordings or stream live TV on your mobile device, making any screen in your home a TV screen. TiVo's free app even lets you schedule your recordings when you're not at home. Seriously, you have to watch this show. Don't mind if I do. With TiVo, you'll never have to miss a thing. For special offers on TiVo, call 888-SIMPLIFY. When you download the Mediacom Connect mobile care app, you can troubleshoot issues, look at your data usage, pay your bill, get appointment reminders, and even schedule a time for us to call you without ever leaving the couch. It's like having your own customer service agent. Remember, your TiVo install is tomorrow. And technician right in your phone. Mediacom Connect mobile care. Download the free app today from iTunes or Google Play. Talking golf here on the Cougar Insider Show, MC22, with John Utley, the head coach for both the Cougar men and women's team. Uh, the men's team, uh, the golf stat rankings are out. Congratulations, number 26, and uh, just outside the top 25 in the NAIA coaches poll. Receiving votes is uh, it's a huge jump for this program where it's coming in the five years, five or six years this now. This is our sixth season. Sixth season, hard I was to believe just already. Talking about that somebody the other day, it's hard to believe it's been, this is the sixth one, but. We've definitely going the, the right direction. We've we've rece received votes once before, but that didn't we didn't stay in that spot very long. Yeah. 
but this is the highest golf stat ranking I believe we've ever achieved and 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 I feel we're a top 25 team uh, our stroke average for the the fall ended up to be 293.75 which back when I was playing college golf if you, if you average 300 or better you you had a really solid team which counting four scores means your your four players average 75 right and for us to average 293 um, is definitely going the right way. Pretty solid program for sure on the men's side with those two firsts and two seconds. The women, uh, if my numbers are right, uh, a fourth, uh, seventh, and a couple of second place finishes for your uh, fall schedule and, and your lineup. I know Michelle Clark uh, shot well up in Illinois in that first tournament, finished, I think, tied for fourth place. Talk about the, how the ladies got started. Well, that was, that was a really good beginning. The, the, the ladies, I entered them as individuals that first tournament because we were one player short. Uh, we had a, a family conflict and one of our players couldn't go. And, and with the other four, uh, I just felt like it was a good decision to play them as individuals. And Michelle came out and shot 76 <laughs> the opening round of the season and uh, was awesome. She, she's got great skills and uh, she has shot 76 before, but it was the final round of an event. So for it to be the first round of an event and then get to sleep on the lead yeah. uh, was a little different for her and uh, didn't play quite as well the second day but did have a, a top finish and uh, and all of our girls play, played well this fall. Uh, you know they had their individual rounds and moments and uh, are working hard you know our, our focus this, this year and this fall is all about the process and to execute and you know, while the girl, the guys have seen more success of those results, right. uh, our goal is, is May when the conference tournament is, and our girls are, are doing little things every day to get better and, and setting even better foundations, and, and we're excited about what they've done. Well, with four, four sophomores, a freshman, and a, and a junior, you don't have that, that senior leader like you do on, on the guy's side with, right. with, with Trevor. Um, and we were talking about that last week with uh, Taylor Posell with the women's basketball mm -hmm. team. No seniors on that team. There's a, there's a different aspect to it, a little less you know, urgency, if you will, especially right. in the second half of the season when there's that, hey, the, you know, the senior's like, hey, this could be my last collegiate event or this could be you know, one of my final ones. Talk about the dynamic of having a, a younger team. Well, and that, that's the exciting part is that you know, they're, they're doing good things and, and um, and the thought that I've got some of them two, three more years right. to continue building is is a great, you know, helps us establish our foundation even better. Absolutely. Uh, they finished, you guys took a second place finish here at, at CCC at Columbia Country Club. Talk mm -hmm. about the ladies finish finishing, well, finishing it, second. Well, it was good. You know, there was some, some, I forget how many, six, seven teams there. And uh, again, our, our, our course, especially for the ladies, uh, seems like every hole plays uphill, <laughs> and uh, you know the w and. I would not know from like, hitting from the women's tees. You know, that's where we, I usually well, and, that's, and, and that's the thing. Our <laughs> girls don't yeah. don't hit from many many of the women's tees. They they they're <laughs> further back than that because of our our yardage requirements, and you know it's historically our strokes stroke average or tournament scores are higher at our home course, but you know reflective of the numbers we shot at our tournament and turned around the next week and went to Tanglewood where we shot, I think 342 was our low round at our home tournament. We shot 317 the first round of the William Woods tournament. And uh, where Michelle had a great first round there, Erica Barrett, uh, who's uh, on our team for the second year, she had her low, low competitive round, shot 77 the opening round, which was a great, a great boost to the rest of them. And, um, Mindy Henrik played solid. Uh, Michelle played good. Michaela Youngmeyer, who, Mich Michaela, you know, we've kind of tried to make her not play because she's played injured all fall with a tear in her labrum in her hip. And she had surgery last Thursday, but she refused not to play. <laughs> and, you know, you, you like it. You like to see that grittiness. And, you know, coach, I, I'm going to help the team. Right. And that's the attitude they have, and that's what you want. Well, you mentioned Erica being a Columbia kid from mm -hmm. Hickman High from School Hickman. here, and I'm sure she's played that course a lot of times. That's the difference when you have a, a kid that's that's from Columbia. I know there's been a couple over the years, mm -hmm. uh, and I know you've got it uh, on the on the on the guy's side too with uh, Jackson Dubinsky, who's a Rockbridge guy. Yeah. 
uh, plays basketball too. Is there a difference between that? Or, you well, know? There, there's obviously familiarity, of course, is a huge advantage. It, it is. And, and I'm not certain how many times Erica's played over there, sure. but she, you know, if you, had, if you see what she can do in practice and, and the shots she's capable of hitting, you know, it's really no surprise. And it was fun that it came together. And, you know, that's the, the process where, you know, you get over the hump, you, you make, you, you cross this milestone of, okay, I broke this score. Right. Then the next time it makes it easier. And um, again, that's just, we're focusing on the process and, and taking steps and the ultimate goals in the spring. Absolutely, you uh, had the final uh, tournament, you played in the Lady Panther invite mm -hmm. a, seven, a seven place finish. I think there was nine or 10 teams in, in that one. Uh, what did you guys learn from, from well, the last tournament? That, that one we went and, and it was a step up in competition. I mean, we played all, all D2 schools except for uh, College of the Ozarks, which is another NAI school, but um, I really liked the golf course. Uh, conditions were tough and uh, the greens were rolling good, and, and, but I wanted our girls to go see that, you know, we're not far, you know, and, and to, not that you want to be paying that much attention to what your competitors are doing, but uh, we played with Freed Hart, or with uh, Harding University, mm -hmm who I believe ended up winning the They tournament. won the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, and we played with them the first day. And, you know, it's good to see how other players, you know, not necessarily better players, but uh, other people do things. And, and I just, it, it was one of those tournaments that I felt very good about, you know, win, lose, or draw. This is going to be a good learning process for our, our girls, and it'll pay off in the end. Well, especially with the sport of golf, which is so much between the ears, sure. and not necessarily what you're doing with the seven iron or with the putter, uh, to have, you know, to face some of that stiffer competition. Right. And we've seen it with the scheduling of, of all the programs here with basketball, volleyball. I know Coach Washington, early in the year, you're scheduling as many of your tough opponents as possible so you can kind of give your players an opportunity to look and say, hey, that's those are the best of the best. Right. And here's where we're at. We're not that far off. We're not. And, and um, I have a new grad assistant, Michelle Butler, this, this year, who's a former D1 player from Missouri. Uh, she had a, a nice junior career coming out of Florida. And I, I can't think what she's done, her enough, or what she's done this year. And um, she pretty much runs practices. And uh, Coach Coop and and Coyle from uh, Mizzou, who have a great program, you know, she brings a lot of things that add to what we've done in the past and go beyond. And she's been such a help to me in that it just allows me to show up and teach. Uh -huh. You know, she has them organized and doing tasks of the day. And, you know, one week I showed up and I'm like, what's, what's your task today? And it was actually to miss the greens. <laughs> and it was a point task point game that you know you, you have to consider where the flag is and knowing our home course they should already know where know how the greens lay but where should I miss it if I don't hit a perfect shot where should I miss it to give me the best chance to get it up and down and then the second part of the task was getting it up and down right so just stuff like that that makes them think um, and, and get out of their minds of trying to hit perfect golf shots and play the right. game and and she's done that and and you can see I mean you can just, uh, it's making a difference and, and it's what we've got to do to get better. Well, you see it so many times with, with pitchers in baseball. I know Coach Munz has said a lot, you know, when guys try to try and aim it too much, sure. they're, they're missing. When you, if you're the same with a golf swing, mm -hmm. if you're trying to aim it, uh, most of the time you're not going to go where you want it to go. Right. You know, you got, you got to execute the swing and, and let the rest happen. Uh, so the so you're in the process now of building those those uh, spring schedules basically. Or putting I am. Those together. Yeah, I'm. I'm still getting invitations, and uh, you know, with the success the men's team had, we're hoping to maybe maybe get some something that we haven't seen before as, as far as an invite, and, uh, and and I'll have that probably wrapped up here in the next couple of weeks, just because we want to, you know, be able to plan far far and ahead with travel and and. Um, I know Cindy Potter, who does an amazing job for our our athletes with communicating with professors and right. and absences and stuff like that. We try to get that information to her 
as soon as possible going forward so we can plan accordingly. Absolutely. And of course, uh, back in June, we'll touch on this briefly before we wrap things up with the, the Cougar Club and Scholarship Fund Golf Event, also out at Columbia Country Club. Uh, man, $27,000 uh, plus raised on the golf course with the auctions, with all of the things. Uh, that thing just continues to explode with, with what it's raised for the student athletes here at CC. Yeah, we're, we're so blessed to have the support from the public and, and the sponsors that, that support our our athletic department and Drew Grizella and Cindy and Kim and Brian and everybody do a phenomenal job of those with those relationships and um, you know it's it's a great day of golf it's we we have it in early June the weather's usually great again Joe Herzog I mean it's arguably the, the best kept course in town and uh, the greens are always perfect, and I think didn't my team win? Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. I, I was recruit, good. I, I printed that off, and I, I recruited ironically well again. left. <laughs> but, it, but it's a great day, and, and again, it's it's for a great cause. Our, you know, it it costs money to for our athletes to do what they do, and um, we appreciate all the support that the community gives us to allow them to do that at the high level that, that they do. Yeah, that event's a lot of fun. It's usually that first Monday in June or right around that time. So if you get a chance to, to kind of bookmark that in your calendar, if you haven't participated before, even if you have, certainly come back around. And if you're a business owner, want to get involved with sponsorships, and that'll start rolling out, really. I know the plans are already in place yeah, for I'm, I'm sure Drew's next already year. on it. You can always email Drew Grizella and, and uh, be ready. Be ready. Well, good luck in the recruiting and getting Thank the fall schedule or the – I don't spring. even know what time of the year it is. <laughs> spring schedule set up. Congrats on the uh, the big run by the guys, number 26 in golf stat, and uh, just outside the top 25. Coach, uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank it. Appreciate John it. Nutley, Cougar Golf, here on MC22. Cougar Insider Show. Don't forget, you can always watch the programming on demand right from your cable box right here on MC22. Are you ready to go even faster? Boost your speed from up to 60 to up to 100 meg for just 10 bucks more a month. Or speed boost to up to 200 meg for just 20 bucks more a month for one year. That's up to three times faster than you're going now. Whether you're uploading, downloading, surfing, or streaming, adding speed boost makes the time you spend online faster, better, and smoother than ever. Supercharge your internet for as little as $10 more a month for one year. Call 888-SIMPLIFY today. In every community, young people are proving their abilities to lead through accomplishment in the classroom and beyond. At Mediacom, we're proud to recognize these outstanding individuals by awarding world-class scholarships. By investing in these young leaders and their educations, we believe that we're creating a more promising future for everyone. Congratulations to each and every winner. Mediacom, powering the future. With TiVo, you can record shows to watch later, of course. But you can also access popular video apps right on your TV. And you can watch your recordings or stream live TV on your mobile device, making any screen in your home a TV screen. TiVo's free app even lets you schedule your recordings when you're not at home. Seriously, you have to watch this show. Don't mind if I do. With TiVo, you'll never have to miss a thing. For special offers on TiVo, call 888-SIMPLIFY. The average family uses seven internet devices at the same time. From online grocery shopping, to online doctor visits, to online fitness, we're more connected than ever. By 2022, a typical home could have 500 smart devices. That's why at Mediacom, we've increased all our speeds, and we're bringing gigabit speeds to every community our internet serves. So while technology is changing fast, we'll continue to stay ahead. When you download the Mediacom Connect mobile care app, you can troubleshoot issues, look at your data usage, pay your bill, get appointment reminders, and even schedule a time for us to call you without ever leaving the couch. It's like having your own customer service agent. Remember, your TiVo install is tomorrow. And technician right in your phone. Mediacom Connect mobile care. Download the free app today from iTunes or Google Play. I wasn't gonna stop until we got it resolved. I wanna recognize one of your employees for her great service. Gina made some changes to her email setup and was having some issues accessing her messages. 
My email structure is fairly complex. Kristen had her whole team on it and kept me informed every step of the way. We had to try a lot of different solutions, but I wasn't gonna stop until we got it resolved. Somehow, Kristen fixed the unfixable. I'm Kristen, and I'm your local internet expert.